There is no doubt this is a rough economic climate we're in. And tomorrow, when BC's finance minister present, prevents the uh, provincial budget, it will likely be one marked by fiscal prudence and restraint. Dana Hutchings is here now with more on that in tonight's Checkpoint. Jim, Finance Minister Kevin Falcon has said the aim is to have the budget balanced by 2013-2014, which is the election year. This budget is about fiscal discipline. While we likely won't see any major cuts to programs, as Kylie Stanton reports, we likely won't be seeing much in terms of spending increases either. At the end of the day, it just doesn't add up. In politics, it's all about the numbers right now. The shortfall between Mr. Dix's funding promises. But the governing Liberals aren't focusing on their own calculations. Would be nearly $5.2 billion. So I don't have any trouble getting very concerned about what may be happening to my province of British Columbia under an NDP fiscal uh, uh, government situation. The attacks come one day before the Liberals introduce this year's budget. And the attempt to shift the attention could be a sign of what's to come. I think what we're seeing here with this uh, latest performance today, this fabrication of numbers, uh, is a government that is desperate, a government that's in a spiral and is trying Politics 101 to change the channel and talk about something other than their own performance and the budget that they're going to present tomorrow. It's expected to be a budget of restraint, and the timing is crucial. Fifteen months ahead of the next election, there are all kinds of fears cuts are on the way. There's going to be some tough medicine or some any cuts, uh, decisions around be it hydro hikes, ferry rates, uh, anything that may really be touches the wallet and cuts across the population that people will grumble about tomorrow. Those kind of pocketbook issues. As far as spending increases go, the fiscal cupboard is still bare. On top of that, the provincial government has committed to balancing the budget by 2014, which means eliminating an expected $3 billion deficit in just one year. A lofty task for this finance minister. The projections we're making are cautious and conservative. That means ensuring that if we're going to uh, have any results, we will hopefully outperform uh, the numbers that we put into our budget. That kind of prudence builds confidence. Details about exactly how that will be accomplished will be unveiled tomorrow. Adrian Dix's numbers do not add up. For now, this political theatre is setting the stage for that show. And our checkpoint question tonight, what would you like to see in tomorrow's provincial budget? I'd like to see money, more money allocated towards the health care system, uh, shortening, shortening our wait times and uh, making it more accessible to everybody out here. How about in uh, Overpass and Mackenzie and Admirals? Well, being a senior, I guess I would like to see, and having a 95-year-old mother, I would like to see more help. With housing uh, for the homeless is always good, I guess, and uh, um, education, health care, all, all those things. Probably health care seems to be the biggest area of concern. Child care and um, health, those are the two big ones. From Twitter, Brett says, I'd like to see funding for transportation for an airport expansion at YYJ and for rapid transit to solve the Colwood crawl. From Facebook, Luann says, restore funding to the arts and to culture. These are too often taken for granted and they're a key component of BC's economy. And Kimberly says she'd like to see a budget that's realistic and recognizes that public service workers, including teachers, deserve wage increases. And a lot of people on social media today said whatever it takes, they want an end to the teachers' dispute. We'll see what happens when the finance minister presents his budget in the House tomorrow afternoon. And that's tonight's Checkpoint. Mm -hmm.